News at 11. Coach Bobby Ross and the Citrus Bowl Trophy. The Georgia Tech Yellow Jackets, the only major college team to end the season without a loss. Good evening. By beating Nebraska today, Tech has made believers out of the doubters and has put in a strong bid to be number one. But whether Tech is proclaimed number one has a lot to do with another bowl game being played right now. In Orlando, the Tech players have their eyes on the Orange Bowl. A Notre Dame win would almost certainly guarantee that Tech would be declared number one. Bill Hartman's here right now to begin tonight's Tech coverage. Bill. Well, it started when Georgia Tech beat Nebraska 45-21 in the Florida Citrus Bowl. Now, even though the Jackets were the only team to make it through without losing, Colorado went into the day ranked number one. Number one needs to lose to vault Georgia Tech to the top. Jeff Hollinger, watched the Jackets beat Nebraska, is now with them as this story continues into the late night. Jeff? Bill, thank you. I'm at the Georgia Tech headquarters here in Orlando, the Peabody Hotel. In this room, there are a lot of Yellow Jacket fans and friends and a, and a few players there watching right now to see if Colorado, whew, so watch that Colorado Notre Dame game. It is tough watching. Willie Clay is the starting quarterback for the team. You know all about him. Willie, can you watch that game without sweating profusely? No, I can't. You know, today we had a very good performance. We, we showed a lot of people that we can play, and now waiting for this, it's hard. It's very difficult waiting because somebody else controls your own fate, but um, we have a lot of confidence in Notre Dame, and I, I think they'll come out on top. You've been up in your room. You've been back here. It's, it's kind of like Payson, an expectant father, right? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Maybe that's a bad way to put it. Uh, yes, it is. <laughs> it is a bad way to put it, but um, I feel confident that no matter what happens tonight with Colorado, um, I think we'll be number one because I think we show a lot of people that we can play, and we can play with the best of them. ACC hasn't got a lot of respect, but today I think all the teams are winning, and it feels good because our conference has shown that we can play with the best of them. Willie, I want you to stay right here. We're in the basement of this hotel. I want to take you up top, nine floors to somewhere else, but first we want to begin with Bobby Ross as he made it back here. Hours after the biggest tech win in almost 40 years, head coach Bobby Ross and wife Alice made their triumphant return to the Yellow Jacket Hotel, the Orlando Peabody with the Citrus Bowl trophy, and Alice clutching the game ball. Congratulations. Thank you a lot. Thank you. The trophy is securely in the hands of Bobby Ross and his team. Now it's time to see what's going on with the Orange Bowl. We knock on 941. It is the room of Greg Lester and Jeff Wright. Let's see if anybody is home. This is the place. Is this the place? This is the place, Jeff. Your name is? I'm Cherry Collier from Atlanta. Go Jackets! Where's that Greg Lester? Right here. Greg Lester's right over there. Right there. <laughs> Greg, what's going on? Well, right now, it's, it's looking all right. It's kind of tied up, but uh, I'm pretty sure the Rocket and Notre Dame will pull it out. You're not scared? Oh, no, not definitely. You know, with, with the Rocket in there, I know they'll pull it out. For Greg Lester, teammate Jeff Wright, and friends, it was a night to cheer, cheer for old Notre Dame. I'm hoping Dame pulls it together and um, get the act together so they can win this game and we can be national champs. Dame Noter? Noter. <laughs> Noter. We'll see if Noter can win tonight. There are a lot of Notre Dame fans here in this hotel. Will you introduce me to your family very quickly, your mom and your brother? This is my mom right here. If it wasn't for her, I wouldn't be here today. And this is my little brother, Jason. Hey. He's one of my biggest fans. Jason, you like the game today? Yes. Are you a Notre Dame fan now? Yes. You're trying to see them beat Colorado tonight, right? Right. Mom, you got to be proud. One of the great days for you, I think, as a mom, as seeing your son on national TV and being here in person, too. Oh, yes, I am. It's been a great day, and we're glad we came, and we hope Notre Dame comes out, so we'll be number one. All yes. right. <laughs> Everybody behind me starting to sing that Notre Dame fight song, right, gang? Yeah. All right, we'll come back here to the Peabody Hotel in Orlando, Florida. Willie Clay, Mom, brother, we appreciate it. I'm Jeff Hellinger, Channel 5 Eyewitness News. Let's go back to Atlanta. Bill? All right, Jeff, we will check back with you in just a few minutes to update everyone now on that Colorado-Notre Dame game in the Orange Bowl. Colorado, the number one team, has taken the lead 10 to 9 with about three minutes left to go in the third quarter. So this is going to go back and forth, and it's just awful when you've got to rely on somebody else, you know, to do your bidding. Yeah, here, Georgia Tech has, has done its bid and done they it well. Be. They yeah. Colorado lost a football game and That's then right. won another one in a very disputed fashion. So... Tech's unbeaten, they should be number one. In my book, they are. Okay. Thanks. You and me. <laughs> <laughs> and me, too. Okay, Count me in. Thanks. Well, for Tech fans, the tension actually began at 1.30 this afternoon. It continues at this hour as they wait to learn, of course, the outcome of the Orange Bowl. Many of them are waiting at local sports bars. Doug Richards has more. Hey! 
Don't try to adjust your picture. These are people at Jocks and Jill's rooting for Colorado. Who do I think is number one? Colorado is number one, no question. Georgia Tech is number two, but uh, Colorado is number one. Turns out the local Colorado Booster Club had planned to occupy this bar on this night long before Georgia Tech joined the hunt for the national championship. I just moved here from Boulder. I don't care too much about Georgia Tech. <laughs> Have you noticed this pile of Colorado people yeah, over here? We're, we're uh, having a real problem with them. They're pretty impressed with themselves. Have you noticed that? Yeah, we're not impressed at all. No. Tech fans were impressed with their team's Citrus Bowl drubbing of Nebraska. So were some Colorado fans. I thought it was very impressive. Colorado's really going to have to make a great showing, I think, to uh, hold the number one position. Well, I still think Tech should be number one. Even if Colorado wins? Mm -hmm. I think Tech's the national champion due to, the due to the fact that they're undefeated. But consider the dilemma faced by this man. You're a graduate student at Tech? Yeah, I am. And who are you rooting for? Uh, I'm rooting for Colorado. Lance Cornell got an undergraduate degree from Colorado and now goes to graduate school at Georgia Tech. I can't complain. I got the number one and number two teams either way. That was Doug Rich's reporting from Jocks and Jill's sports bar where Tech fans are anxiously awaiting their team's fate. John?